Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And for those of you who are new, my name is Joshua. And if you're looking to run your first ever full marathon race like I am, then I'm gonna share with you what I believe to be the best marathon training program to accomplish that. So this year I've decided to run my first ever full marathon race. And there are so many marathon plans out there that it's almost impossible to choose a single one. I've never completed a single race in my entire life. So choosing to do a full marathon as my first race ever is a little overwhelming. And even though there are a ton of marathon plans out there, I think I have found what is the best marathon plan for someone like me who is running their first full marathon race ever. And that plan is the Hale Higdon Marathon Race Plan through the Run With Hale app. Now I wanna make sure to add a disclaimer saying that any marathon plan you do choose will get you to the goal you want of completing a full marathon race. There is no end all be all one plan that will make you just the best runner ever. Each plan is gonna have its pros and cons and it's gonna have certain benefits that are better than other plans, but no one plan is the best. The only reason I choose the Run With Hail as being the best for someone running a first time marathon is that the Run With Hail app takes all the guesswork out of training for a full marathon race. So I'm gonna break down the app a little bit more for you guys to show you why I believe it is the best marathon training plan for a first time marathoner. So once you've signed up for the app, it will start by asking you, what date is your race day? For me, that's October 17th, 2021. What kind of race are you running? So it could be 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon. I chose the full marathon. It'll then ask you if you have a goal time for finishing the marathon. You can choose to say you don't have one. But for me, I chose a time that I think I'm going to shoot for with this full marathon. The app will then ask you what is an easy pace. So what is a pace you can run at where you could hold a full conversation and you don't feel like you're adding any stress or there's any strain to your body. It also gives a suggestion for novice runners that if you've never really run, you don't really know your pace, that 14 minutes is a good place to start and see how you're doing from there. The app will then also ask you what are good days for you to run your long run? What days do you wanna do rest? And then what other days can you run? And once that's all said and done, there'll be a final screen kind of reconfirming everything that you've selected. And then once you hit that's good, it'll actually spit out your training plan for that marathon. Now, one thing I absolutely love with the Run With Hell app that I was not expecting with this app is that if your marathon training isn't starting for a while, so for mine, it's an 18 week program, I kind of assumed I was just gonna run until June 14th hit, and then I'd start using the app to actually start training. Well, with the Run With Hell app, it actually built out a conditioning plan for me up until June 14th. So I still have a plan to follow to help build a conditioning base up until my marathon training starts. This is another reason I believe the Run With Hell app is the best marathon training plan for any first time marathon runners or just beginners in general. Cause it doesn't just assume, hey, you'll start this training plan whenever and just kind of do whatever until that point. It helps get you ready so that when you hit day one of your marathon training, you should have a good conditioning base built and you'll just have a better understanding of how the Hale Higdon marathon or training program works in general. So the way the workouts go, is that for that day, it'll tell you what the workout is, it'll tell you what mileage or time you're supposed to run, and then there's a pace that it has given you based on what you said your easy paces were or your goal race paces that you should try and aim to hit for that run for the day. Now, once you've completed the workout for the day, you can either enter it manually or if you do have a Garmin device, Garmin Connect will automatically push once it syncs to the Run With Hell app, and then all you have to do is tap to apply once it's found the Garmin Run. It'll spit in all the information, and then you have two variables to select. One is what your perceived effort was, and then one is your perceived fatigue or body, how your body feels after the run. So you can choose to say like, my base run, I felt pretty easy, moderate, hard, very hard, and then fatigued, you can say not fatigued, a little fatigued, moderately fatigued, or really fatigued. Now what this will help do is help the Run With Hell app gauge how well you're doing for each run. So once you're done and you've entered that information and completed the day, 
you will then get a spit out of stats for the day. So there'll be a percentage of how compliant you were to the workout and then one through 10 on what your effort and fatigue were. And then there'll be like a little excerpt from Hale kind of saying like, congratulations, you stuck with the plan for the day. Or I don't know what it would be like if you haven't, I've been pretty compliant with each workout, but I'm assuming if you're really off base from what you said with maybe you said like an easy run was eight minutes, and at eight minutes you're feeling like insanely fatigued and it was a hard effort, I'm assuming then the plan is adaptive. So I'm assuming it'll adapt and tell you that maybe you need to reassess certain things within your training plan and what you perceive to be an easy pace. But either way, the workout will then have how you are compliant, which goes into a bigger segment I'll talk about in a second. Now also with the workouts, one thing that I really love for first time marathon runners and beginner runners in general, is that at the bottom, there'll be a little excerpt with Hale explaining what the run is. So basically what you're supposed to kind of be doing for the day. And then there'll be an excerpt from Hale or some other running expert within the running community talking about things such as nutrition, recovery, just running form, uh, mentality, all these different things that basically encompass running in general. There's these little excerpts, which I personally enjoy to read each day. And then, like I said, for someone who's a first time marathoner, it really takes a lot of the guesswork and some of the anxiety about training plans. It takes all of that and does it for you so that you don't really have to think about the plan, all these formulas of like how you're supposed to figure out your pace, all of these things, it literally spits it all out for you. So all you gotta do is go out and run each and every day. So one thing to note really quick with the workouts, they only go like seven to 10 days out. And that's partly because I've already mentioned this plan is adaptive. So with the plan, Hale doesn't wanna have you looking too far ahead considering the plan may actually adapt based on how compliant you are to each workout. So you only can see in the calendar seven to 10 days out for your workouts. And then the last slide will just be like, your, for me, it says basically my plan starts June 14th. The new marathon plan that I will see will be basically created on that day. So all I can look at at this moment is the conditioning plan. So moving on from workouts, there is a section called Hale Says. This is basically uh, your progress overall. So there's an overall progress and then a nine day progress. It basically looks at how well or how compliant are you staying to the overall program and in the, in the past nine days. So it's looking at like, are you overtrained? Are you like perfectly trained, like right in the middle, or are you undertrained? So overall progress just shows you like where you're at and then how compliant you've been in the last day. So like in the last nine days, have you been getting a little off by maybe undertraining or have you been pushing yourself a little too hard? And do you need to recalibrate in any way to get yourself back in line with basically the perfect amount of training? There is also a stat section. This basically just shows you your average effort average fatigue, um, how many miles you've run, average pace, and then where you're at in terms of the plan. So for the conditioning plan, like how many days you have left, this just gives you an overall stats of where you're at in your specific plan. And then one last thing that I believe makes this part of the best training plan is the fact that everything I have mentioned up until this point is free on the Run With Hell app, at least for now. I don't know if they're gonna make you pay later, but there is a paid section for the app. It's called the Hell Plus. There's basically three tiers of payment. So you can do a monthly, a semi-annually, and then an annually. And what the Hell Plus unlocks is basically the ability to go on and select blackout dates. So if like there's a holiday, or a day that you just can't run, you can black that date out so that there's no training plan for you on that day. You can select races that you're gonna run so that the plan can adjust. So if you're running a 5K this upcoming weekend, you can put that in. The plan will account for that race so you won't have any type of training that day. It'll just be the race. And then you can also select paces. So you can put in a previous race pace that you've done to help adjust the plan's paces for you, or you can adjust your easy pace. So like I said, if you start running eight minutes, realize maybe that's too fast, or you selected 14 minutes as a novice and you realize that's too slow, you can go in and adjust that. You can also say how many hours you've been running a week, how many miles you run a week, and if you're injury prone to try and help see maybe things to help for injury. I'm not a very injury prone person, so I haven't really used that, that section much, but it's there if you need it. And so that is it for this video. Like I said, there's a ton of marathon training plans out there, 
and they're all most likely really good or at least help get you over that finish line. But if you're a first time runner who doesn't wanna deal with the hassle of trying to do all these random formulas online or with a calculator yourself, or you don't even really know your paces, the Run With Hell app is the best way to go for that first marathon so that you don't have to do any of the guesswork. You can just check the app, get out and run every single day and get to that race day so you can accomplish the goal you've set of finishing your first marathon ever. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys found it helpful and informational. If you did, please feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment letting me know if you're training for your first race ever and what race plan you may be doing. And as always, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get updates on when I'm uploading my next video. Thanks for watching.